So last year, I bought the PlayStation Vita. And this year, I'm gonna go over the top five reasons why I still love it, will always love it, and why I definitely think you should buy one in 2024. There's actually been quite a lot of hype lately around the Vita, and for very good reason. Before we dive into it, if you're a returning viewer and have not subscribed yet, please do so. It'll help the channel grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's get into it. So the first reason I wanna talk about is modding. It is so easy to mod this console. You can play N64 games, Dreamcast, PS1, PSP, and every single PS Vita game for free. You can also download Homebrew as well if you really wanted to, but in my opinion, I highly recommend buying a 3DS XL if you want to mod 3DS and DS games. But I will say, this console runs PS1 games, PSP games, and PS Vita games flawlessly. And the coolest thing too is that you do not need a PC to mod it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of the video that I found that helped me mod my console. The second reason I wanna to touch base on is the build and presentation. This console is absolutely beautiful. The one thing I love about it too is the Joy-Cons feel really good. The buttons are very responsive, very clicky. It feels nice. And it feels really nice to hold in your hands. This, in my opinion, is one of the best handheld consoles I've ever played in my entire life, and I freaking love it. The third thing I want to talk about is going to be the screen. The image is crisp, absolutely crisp. I'm not sure what the resolution is or the frame rates, but I will say that it runs and looks amazing. This is actually an LCD screen. The PS Vita 1000 has an OLED screen, but I'll get to that later on in the video. The fourth reason I want to touch on is going to be the sound. You probably can't tell too well going from these speakers to my microphone to your speakers, but I think it sounds great. I'm the kind of handheld gamer where I like playing with headphones, but with these, I don't really need headphones. And on to reason number five is the portability. This thing is so lightweight. This is the lightest handheld I have in my whole collection. You can easily put this thing in your pocket and take it anywhere you want. When I'm traveling or flying, this and my Nintendo Switch Lite are my go-tos. Mainly because I already have all my games preloaded onto this. I don't have to swap out any cartridges or nothing. All my games are on one device. You just turn it on, pick what game you want, and there you go. Another thing that I'm actually gonna leave in the description below is gonna be the SD to Vita micro SD holder which goes right in the slot of where you usually put the games. That's gonna hold all your games and whatever you wanna download onto this console. So now I'm actually gonna break out the 1000 model. This is the 1000 model. Probably can't tell too much of a difference. And this is the 2000 model. The biggest differences between the 1000 and the 2000 model, which are the only PS Vita models available, is that the 1000 model has an OLED screen, is a little bit more bulky, has more of a premium feel, and the 2000 model is an LCD screen, and it's a bit more slim, a bit more compact, easy for traveling. In my opinion, it's a win-win. Whichever one you pick, you're gonna have a great time with it. Me personally, I prefer the 2000 because it's a little bit more lightweight, and I don't feel like I'm gonna break it if I drop it. Either way, it all comes down to preference and what you prefer. So going back to the beginning of the video on when I mentioned that there's been a lot of hype around this console lately is because there's been tons of rumors going around lately that a PS Vita 2 is in the works. Now I don't exactly know how strong those rumors are, although I will say that the PS Portal started out as a rumor as well, and here we are today with the PS Portal. Of course we all know that wasn't the PlayStation handheld we all had in mind. My theory upon this whole thing is that I believe that they actually released the PS Portal to see how well that would sell. And if it did good, then that would actually fund a real PlayStation Portable. Because if you think about it, why would they invest a ton of money into a new PlayStation handheld if it didn't sell well? When they could just sell a little streaming device for 200 bucks, not take too much of a loss if it didn't do good, but if it did do good, it would help fund the new console. Now, would I actually like them to make a PlayStation Vita 2? Absolutely, freaking lootly it is about time that we finally get a real PlayStation handheld. It's been way too long. Moving forward though, if they can actually make a new handheld console, 
this compact and run great, at least the PS4 standards, I would be totally happy with that. Another thing I want to touch on as well is going to be where to buy one. I got mine from eBay and I highly recommend going to eBay and buying them from Japan because in Japan these things are still popping. It didn't do too well here in the US, although in Japan you can still find tons of them brand new. So yeah, there you have it. There is the top 5 reasons why I definitely believe you should buy one in 2024. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description below on the video that helped me mod mine. There's also another YouTuber, her name is Orbilology, and she actually made her own video on the PS Vita, and it's amazing. She actually talks about tons of games that I didn't know about myself that I definitely added to my list. I'm going to leave a link to her channel as well in the description below. If you have any questions or comments or if you just want to talk about it, I'm totally open to all that. If there's game recommendations you have, programs I should download, whatever it may be, please let me know. All right, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. God bless you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.